Okay, today we'll be opening up this new frame oil filter number PH25, which I got from Walmart for $9.93. And we'll be comparing it to this 39 year old frame PH25 oil filter, which I got for free. Yep, a very generous viewer whose name is Derek from Upper Peninsula of Michigan sent me this old Fram oil filter. Thanks, Derek. So today we'll take a trip and go back in time, back to the year 1984, when a Fram PH25 oil filter cost $3.77 at Kmart. We'll see if the Fram PH25 oil filters were made better then or made better now. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the new frame. We'll start with the box. This filter is rated for 10,000 miles. If you look over here, we'll see silicone and drain back valve. And right here, group testing for particles greater than 20 microns. And if you look on their website, that's at 95%. Okay, that's about it for this box. Let's open up, see what it looks like. It's got this sure grip texture on the dome end. Date code, A30951. And if we look over here, made in USA. And it's got eight inlet holes, metal core with holes. There's no bypass valve on this filter. And it's got about three grooves there for threads and a nitro rubber gasket. It's on there pretty good. Okay, let's look at this old Fram filter. Right here it says Kmart, $3.77. Look over here. Fram Corporation, a Bendix company, Providence, Rhode Island. And the reason I said this is probably uh, made in 1984 was because this is the last one. Last year they got cars on here listed. 84 was the newest. So I'm thinking that's probably how old this filter is. You could freeze that if you want to look at that. And what does it say here? Nice reminder. Remember, if you don't change the filter, when you change the oil, one quart of dirty oil is still trapped in the filter. All right, cool. All right, let's open up this box, see what this filter looks like. No day code, I couldn't find any day code on here. And Pretty much says the same thing here, Bendix Company, Rhode Island. And this filter has six inlet holes. It looks like a nitro rubber anti drain back valve. Metal core with holes, also no bypass valve. About three grooves there for threads. And nitro rubber gasket. Which is on here pretty good. It's a little rusty on here. And they both stick out about the same. Let's take these two filters, cut them open, and uh, see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The new Fram, 307.6 grams. The old Fram, 364.9 grams. Let's take a look at the gaskets. The gaskets are almost the same thickness. I'll put the measurement up on the screen. Yeah, both look nice. Base plates, the old Fram, 176.8 grams. The new Fram, whoops, 161.3 grams. Let's take a look at these guys. Okay, so you got more inlet holes with the new Fram, but the, the old Fram's got bigger holes. And you can see they both got about the same amount of grooves there for threads. What's interesting is they got, it's not quite, quite a round circle in here. See, it's like flat here, here, and here, and there. So when they put these, they put two together here. Spot welded it. But, you know, looks like it would work fine. Okay, and your drain back valve. So let's look at the frame, new frame. Silicone engine back valve, so that fits over nice. 
yeah it looks nice now this one's a little bit different so that's why i want to do them separately it's got this little spacer in here little metal thing and that would go over just like that yeah it fits right in there it's right in there. actually that looks pretty good yeah that would do a good job okay filter elements let's look at the new one 50 grams even and the old one 65.3 grams let's take a look at the old one and I got a seam right here if you can see that it's like it overlaps right here but that's the seam inside there and this old frame's got a lot more pleats it has 57 pleats 21 more pleats than the than the new frame deep pleats too it's got this string on here almost like the that the pure later filters used to have it's got the engineered synthetic end caps and you see the metal core look at all the holes in there yeah looks nice and you know the, this age on this filter I don't have what this is made out of or the micron rating but it looks pretty nice this filter media actually looks better looks better than the new one let's take a look at the new one right here's a glued seam and like I said this one has a lot less pleats this new one has 21 less pleats 36 pleats total also very deep pleats same thing with same kind of end caps engineered caps engineered synthetic caps okay and this new frame is synthetic cellulose synthetic blend media we have the micron rating of 95% for particles greater than 20 microns yeah looks like it has less holes also for the core we'll see that afterwards okay and they both got stamp leaf springs different kind of they look different but serve the same purpose Canned. The old frame is thicker, 85 grams even, and the new frame, 74.9 grams. Let's check out the measurements here. 0.36 millimeters thick, and the old frame is. 0.54 millimeters thick a little bit thicker and a filter element on the new frame is let's just call that three inches even three inches even that focuses in there and the old the old frame Three point, yeah, three point two inches even. No, three point one eight inches. Okay, it's got a big head start on this new one, anyways, with all these pleats. Well, I put my money on this old frame for having more filter media. What do you guys think? Let's cut these two filters open, stretch them out, and uh, see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are stretched out. And the new fram filter is 49 inches long. And the old fram filter is 78 and a half inches long. Okay, and let's get the thickness on these guys. The new frame filter, 0.96 millimeters thick. 
and the old SRAM filter. 0.85 millimeters thick, a little bit thinner. But uh, they both look like they'd do a pretty good job of filtering. Here's the filtering side, back side. And let's take a look at the microscope picture. So looking under a microscope, I'd say they both do a pretty good job of filtering. You get like a hundred square inches or more filter media with the old Fram filter. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So the gaskets, I'd give them a tie. They're both about the same thickness. Fine. Stamp leaf springs, they're same thing. The base plates, I would say they even out. But the anti drain back valve, I'd give to the new new Fram. And it's, look at how thick this this gasket material and well anti drain bag valve is. Pretty thick stuff. So uh if your filter's mounted vertically it wouldn't matter. And both had the same end caps. The cores, look at the difference in the cores amount of holes here. The old one looks a lot better. A lot more holes. Have a better oil flow, I think. And the cans. Well, one advantage this one has is the sure, sure uh, grip. But this, uh, the older frame is a little bit thicker, a little thicker can. So one advantage the new frame has is the silicone anti drain back valve. But the old frame has a lot more filter media. So what do you guys think about these two filters? It's pretty interesting seeing this old frame. Filter media, I mean this stuff, you could use this today, it looks fine. And again, I want to thank Derek for sending me this old Fram filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays, I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The new Fram filter media weighs 19.5 grams. The old Fram filter media weighs 31.1 grams.